What's going on guys? Welcome back to another epic episode of Minecraft Skyblock in the Cosmic Sky server. If you want to check it out, I'm going to try and remember to put a link to it in the description or just Google's Cosmic Sky, you lazy buggers. And if you do join the server, make sure you join Team Blue and support the revolution. And let me show you why you should support Team Blue. Because today's episode, we've got so much exciting stuff to do. I'm going to show you how we're establishing our complete undeniable economic dominance over the hated red team. We're going to check out what they're up to because I haven't actually seen yet. And I'm going to show you all the new things that we got going on on Blue Island. And in addition, check this out, baby. Slash IS level. That's... Okay, that's... That's not the... There we go! We're island level 10! And you know what that means? We can finally place pistons, which means I can finally build the secret entrance to my underground lair. But first things first, let me show you what we've been up to. So number one, I want to just check out what Blood Red's up to. God, look at them. Look at them with their crappy little... I, I, the one thing I'll admit is their farm does kind of look cool. It seems a lot more inefficient than ours, but it does look cool. And ooh, okay, actually, I don't know what they're building here. Oh, they're building, like, an auto-harvester? So I, I'm pretty sure something pushes all the tops of the sugarcane off, and then auto-collects it and harvests it for them. That's kind of all right, but you know what? We're past sugarcane over on Team Blue. That was so last week's economic hustle. This week, we're doing burnt smoked beef. Down here, they've, they've still got their normal farm going. Honestly, Team Red, poor display. You guys fall behind. Let me, let me show you what Team Blue's up to. We've got... Cosmic Star Smashes, or that, I, that's what I was, I was told it was called. I, I honestly don't really know. Long story short, you guys saw in the last episode that we, we built this thing right here, which is our coal farming operation. These guys basically get upgraded, they farm the coal node blocks, the node blocks drop down, and they put them in here filling up this big chest with coal. But, the big thing that we're farming right now to, uh, to make all our money is this, burnt smoked beef. And to make that, you need 10 coal, and you need 10 steak. So, you might be wondering, Muzelk, what's your steak hustle operation? Because we got a lot of coal, but steak was a big, big holdup. And let me show you. It's right here. It's absolute... Okay, the cows got stuck again. There is a small problem where uh, right now the cows are occasionally getting stuck. But, long story short, it works like this. You stand here, the cows spawn in. They rapidly appear. Then, when the cow lands somewhere like that... Let me, let me show you what happened. Okay, that didn't work. Well, when they stand on that, a piston pushes them out, like you saw. Then that piston pushes them down here, along with the spiders, and they slide all the way over here. Then they fall down a hole, they land on top of the lava, and then all their loot drops into... Oh, wait a second, it doesn't drop here, it drops. Where does it drop? It drops all the way over here, into this chest right here. And then this one fills up with all our steak. So then we grab the steak out of the chest, like so. Genius, I know. You come into the factory. You grab a couple of stacks of coal. You put the coal in your inventory. You put the steak in your inventory. Hey, presto, it combines. You got bird smoked beef. And you just do that until you completely run out of everything. So here we go. We can make another five and done. Here we go. I've got like 200 burnt smoked beef right here. That's going to sell for some serious cash. Now, Rob is supposed to leave a merchant pet inside this chest, which gives me an extra 30% value when I sell stuff. But he's an idiot and he keeps forgetting to put it in there. God damn it, Rob. Before we sell the burnt smoked beef, I just want to watch a cow spawn in and get pushed off. Come on. Spawn in. Do it. Oh, there you go. They spawned in. They get pushed off. They drop down there. Easy peasy. Genius system. As long as it doesn't break, which it's been doing a little bit recently. I feel like we could add like another piston thing here. So if they stand on there, it pushes them onto that piston, and then that piston would push them out. But uh, I don't want to touch it, because that's for the technical guy. Oh, there you go. And more cows get pushed off. That's for the technical guys to do. I, I like to keep it simple. So my plan today is very, very simple. Number one, we sell a whole bunch of burnt smoked beef. Number two, we finally build the secret entrance to my epic secret underground base that only Rob knows about so far. In here, that's right. We've got all my stuff. So we're going to build this awesome secret underground tunnel. And we're going to start it over here at the fishing realm portal. It's going to go underground and it's going to take us to there. And it's going to be epic. First things first, let's see how much money we're going to get for selling 200 of this burnt smoked beef. I don't know why it's burnt. I feel like that should detract from the value, but apparently not. Here we go. Three, two, one. Give me that cash money. Oh my God. We got $12 million. Now, let me tell you, $12 million is good. But you know what's better than $12 million? That's right, guys. 
20 million dollars so let's do a quick little slash coin flip 10 i have a real problem stop it get some help 10 million and we pick team blue 10 million coin flip no balls let's go who's gonna take it come on do it okay someone actually okay this guy's got he's got 20 million in the bag i need this i need this money big cash money baby Big cash money! I literally need to stop gam- I need- I need to stop. I need to stop gambling. I need- I need- I need to stop. I need- Do you know how long I spent farming that burnt smoke beef? <laughs> I was at this server for like three hours yesterday stacking all that up. You have no idea how long it takes to farm that crap. God damn it! All right, well, someone just gave me $9 million. <laughs> so I've, I've also been doing this thing. Whenever whenever people give me uh, give me large amounts of cash, because I don't want it to, like, actually give our team an advantage over Team Red. They can't be cheating. So uh, I've just been turning it into more diamond blocks. So, uh, yeah, if you're on this server and you give me money, I will just buy diamond blocks with it, and I will add them to this room. For example, right now, we, we got given about $8 million, So we're going to go slash store, and we're going to buy ourselves another diamond block. There we go. Let's chuck that right there. Now to the important work that we have to do today. I need to build an epic secret underground base piston door. First things first, I need a whole bunch of redstone stuff. I need to buy 64 redstone. I need a lever. I need sticky pistons. I might need a redstone torch. I don't really know. And oh my god, what, what costs so much money? Oh, I bought 64 sticky pistons. Why did I do that? That was dumb. That was, yeah, that was really dumb. Okay, that's cool. I just wasted like a million dollars. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, here we go. I think we have all the ingredients I need to make this underground thing. So long story short, I want to have a secret door right here behind the realm fishing portal. And then I want, we're going to have an underground passageway that goes under here and leads to my little room. That's the plan. And it's going to be genius when it works and then maybe if, if we just keep chilling around we're gonna have a whole bunch more burnt beef that i can sell and maybe make back some of the money that we lost you know like goddamn guys i need you to all be like good people and not tell rob or anyone else on my team that i lost another 10 million dollar coin flip because they're actually going to stop trusting me with money all right so i'm trying to think how we should do the door should i have it be to the side or vertical i feel like we want it vertical okay so i've got two pistons down now th this is yeah this is the part where i literally don't know what to do <laughs> God, I suck at redstone. Oh my God. I've done. Step number one is done. I repeat. Step number one is done. Can't wait for the comments to tell me that I built this in the dumbest way possible. <laughs> so we can we can be a little bit messy with how I'm building this. Because I actually, I want to expand the whole thing out to that portal. Not because I actually care about expanding out to that portal. But because it's going to do a better job of covering up my secret door. Yeah, like, look at that. All right. See, we got, we got the top working. I think I've got it. Look at this. Boom. It's genius. All right, so now keep that open. Now we need to expand this whole thing. I need more spruce wood. Okay, now, so that might look sus right now. Obviously it does, but here's the plan. I'm gonna expand this thing all the way along so that it kind of matches what's at this portal right here. And that way, no one's gonna, no one's gonna suspect a thing. All right, here we go. I'm getting all the decorations on. People need to be so not suspicious of anything. Then we add these along the top. Looking good. Birch stairs across. Wait, what? Okay, oh wait, that's a birch slab. I'm a fool. I need to just mirror this whole thing. Look at this. Bam! You literally never know the difference. You know what? I kind of actually want to move the entrance. I love the idea of the entrance being right here, right in the middle. I know how to do the redstone on it now. So I reckon I can move this thing. Let, let, me, let me try. So I put that there. Then I put the birch on top. When that activates, it'll push it up to that level. And now I got to have one right here with a birch... I don't know, not like that. Like that. Okay, this is good. Now what do I do? I've, I'm, <laughs> I've confused myself again. What if I were to put a button here? Yo, that's actually... That's low-key genius. And then I put another one right there just to balance it out so it looks like decoration. Now I just got to try and find a way to make that actually link up with redstone. Because I have no clue what I'm doing. Let me change this to a, to a lever, just temporarily. Alright, so that'll work. That'll power that down. And then I go... Bam, bam... Bam. Bam! Oh my god, I've done it! I figured out the redstone! Bro, I'm a genius! So now I gotta replace this with a button. And then that'll go... Bam. Oh wait, no, I need to in... Oh, I need to invert it! <laughs> How do you invert redstone charge? Okay. Wait, have I actually... Have I actually done this? No way did I figure this out. 
Am I a genius? Oh my god. I inverted the charge. I'm actually, like, one of the smartest people in the world, I think. I, I can't confirm that for sure, but I think I'm top 10. Okay, now I just need to get it to power the other piston. Keep in mind, guys, I have, like, zero redstone experience. So this is, like, very uncharted territory for me. There we go. All right, that'll get it. This is probably way messier redstone than it needs to be. But I'm going to cover all this up. Don't worry. Okay, so now I can replace this with a button. And then if I press that, opens temporarily, automatically shuts. So I can slide through without anyone even noticing that I was ever there. This is actually incredible. This is the best thing that I've ever done in any any game ever. What do we do? Do we line this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put blue wool here. I feel like blue wool, that, that kind of fits this part better. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I put, what do you reckon, a birch fence? Yeah, this is good. And now I just need to put, I reckon that. Okay, wait, and then I need two more buttons. Oh yeah, and then I got to expand these out as well because it, it needs to all mirror itself. There we go. People are just going to think the buttons are decoration, dude. This is so good. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Oh my God, I've actually done it. I've played it. Look at this. And then they'll be like, oh, we'll just do... It doesn't do anything. None of these buttons do anything. They're all useless. Unless they press this one. Bam, secret passageway. And now I just need to actually build the passageway out. And I can destroy all these. We don't need this one anymore. This is the crappy doorway. We don't want that. I'm literally having a walkway of sea lanterns. These things are expensive. This is kind of a flex. I'm gonna need to cover all this up. This is the best part about being Australian. They're all asleep right now. So there's not even a chance that someone's gonna walk in on me. I can just do whatever I want. I need more sea lanterns. All right. And now we want to line the sides of it with what? We could do bookshelves. We could do red nether brick. Can't do red nether brick. That's the enemy. But I could do... Okay, we're gonna do mossy stone bricks. Yeah, that feels like a, that feels like secret dungeon material. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Bro, this is actually like way too cool. I love building like hidden things like this. It's so much fun. Out one more. And then we just go like this all the way along. Come on, click faster. Hey yeah. All right, beautiful. And then we build this all the way over here. I think we're done. We're done. We've created the passageway. So you walk in over here, come down these stairs, walk through the long hallway, and then presto, you made it to my secret underground room. I just need another 7 million because that lack of diamond right there is really messing with me. All right, now let's go check the entrance actually works. I've just realized I don't have any way to get out. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I gotta, build, I gotta build some kind of button that will get me out. Okay, we have a serious problem. I don't know how to fix this redstone so that we can actually get out. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Everything was working perfectly. Oh God, this is getting messy. Okay. And then if I go redstone, 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 break that connector right there. And then I press the button. That's not working. Oh God, I broke it. I freaking broke it. No! What if I do this? All right, so that's the fix. Uh... Did that work? That does work. Okay, 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 okay. So then if I put a button here, oh my God, that works. That works, that works. I fixed it, I fixed it. It's working. It's working! Look at that. Secret go in. And then I'm like, oh, time to go. Oh. Okay, wait. Oh, because that block's running that way too. So I just need to run... Well, I need to run this out one more. Okay, will that work now? Yeah, there we go. In. Out. It's finished! Thank you! Oh my god, it's probably so much messier than it should be. Nothing to see in here, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing at all. Oh my god, this redstone goes so far. <laughs> this is the dodgiest thing ever. Okay, so first things first, I need to expand this whole thing up by one block. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, this is good, this is good. Oh yeah, this is not sus at all. Then I'm gonna build it out by one, and I'm even to build this all the way around. Okay, how far out do I need to go here? Oh, I need to extend this whole thing by one. That goes all the way out. All the way around. Oh my god. Yeah, we're covering it all up. Oh my god, bro. This is some like top secret stuff right here. Look at all this. Yo, like for real though? This is the best thing I've ever built. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete. The realm portal to the enchanted forest. Oh, if you want to go there. The realm portal to the fishing lake. Now you might be wondering, oh, is something hidden in here? This building, I get. okay. You could argue the building does look slightly big. But other than the fact that building looks slightly big, there's nothing dodge... 
one sec. There is nothing dodgy about this entire building. And then we go inside to reveal the secret door. We can come down along the bridge, all the way underground, and bam! We made it! Then we can put whatever loot we want in here, and then we can leave, run all the way back out, get to our door, press the button, and boom! It's like it was never there. Oh my god, this is actually this is actually too good, dude. This is too good. I have really outdone myself here. Now I now I just need something cool to put in there, you know, but otherwise I'd say we're looking pretty good. What if I replace these with sea lands? Would that look good? Ooh, that's almost a look. I kinda like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got sea lands in the middle. You press the button, boom. Holy crap, dude, that is actually sick. All right, now we've only got one problem left. I need to actually do something productive or the other guys are gonna be really suspicious that I didn't accomplish anything today. I mean, I don't normally accomplish things, but they're starting to expect me to actually accomplish things, which means I need to find something to do. How, how much how much burnt beef have we got? One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh my God, I forgot there's one thing that we have to do. <laughs> Uh, I forgot to cover up our giant underground operations. We need to quickly get a whole bunch of, uh, blue wool, and I'm just gonna, like, cover up the bottom of the island. Two very boring minutes later. Oh, that took a long time! It's all covered up, and I've even, just in case someone, like, sees this and gets suspicious, I even, like, went in there, and I've just, like, filled it up, like, kind of randomly. In, you know, I'm gonna put a little bit more random. Okay, this doesn't look as random as I wanted it to. I've, like, also put a lot of, like, random stuff inside. Just so if someone randomly digs in, they're not just going to get too suspicious and immediately go dig that wall. I want them to come in and be like, oh, he was just lazy and he didn't fill this part out. We need people to believe this is all just casual decorations, you know? I'm filling out the island, making it more blue. That's the goal. Team Blue looking good as always. All right. Now we got to try and actually do something productive. Number one, how much new meat have we got? How much we got? Ooh, another 60. Thank you very much. Now we got to make a little bit of a pit stop at the factory. Pick ourselves up some coal. Thank you very much. All right. And now we make that burnt smoked beef, baby. We're going to make hella bank. I don't know how much we need for the next island upgrade, but I'm pretty sure 10. 10 was like the big goal. 10's where you get access to a bunch of stuff, and that's the one that we've reached. So uh, hopefully we're not in the biggest rush to go to the next one, especially considering that I am consistently losing a lot of our money with uh, with with coin flips. So uh, we're probably not going to have the money to, uh, to upgrade anytime soon. <laughs> all right, there we go. A little bit more. Final bid here. And all righty. We've got 37 smoked beef brisket, baby. Sell hand. Oh yeah, 2.2 million, baby. You guys know what that means. We're coin flipping 2 million, yeah! Gotta keep 1 million, just so I can still do the upgrades that we need to. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this guy gambled all his money to verse me. He's broke after this. After I take all his cash, cash money, because I'm a coin... Bro. <laughs> like, actually, can someone do the maths of what the odds are of me losing this much like this regularly i have literally oh my god i have won 65 million dollars coin flipping i have lost 181 million dollars coin flipping we could have won this entire freaking thing already if i just spent the money instead of coin flipping it but no i am I have I have problems. I I have serious serious problems. Okay, like, we we need to do something productive today. I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this thing. Oh my god! There, yeah. See, this is the problem. We have 1,700 cows right now that are not getting pushed off correctly. Stand on this thing. There you go. The cows are gone, and I'm gonna fix this. All right. Let's see if I can fix this without breaking the entire operation. So what I'm planning on doing is basically putting a piston here, like getting rid of these cow spawners and putting a piston here. So in the event that someone spawns there, it'll push them onto the other pistons, which will then push them off. I I need I need to get a pick. I don't have a pick right now. Hello, where are the picks? Oh my god, look at all these boxes. Okay, thank God, there's a pick right here. It's about the worst one you can get, but I don't think that should matter. Here we go. We got another one. And another one. And another one. Oh, God. That one's running away. Thank you. Okay, so I can have the ones under it. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm literally just going to copy exactly what they've done. That's just going to be the safest way to do this whole thing. Put the redstone repeater down. And then I put that there. And then I put that there. And now, if a cow spawns on the corner, look at this. Hey! It'll activate that one, which pushes it there, which then pushes him in. There's no escape for the cows now. They burn no matter what they do. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna build this one next, just as a test, make sure it works. So we go wool, piston, wool, 
Pressure plate. Okay, well, that cow was weirdly on the court. God, this better actually work. If I build this whole thing and it doesn't work, I'm actually going to be salty. Oh, don't tell me I'm wasting my time here. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to be productive. I'm trying to do things for the team. Alrighty, that's another one down. One to go. All right, and the final one. We put the redstone repeated down. We put that in and bam, shalam. Hopefully it's fixed. I just got to add all these spawners back in. There we go. All right. All the spawn has been added back. It's all finished. Let's just double check that it works. Make sure no more cows make the mistake of not falling down to their death like they're supposed to. Oh, there we go. All right, that one's working. 100% success rate so far, by the way. We got, we got to wait a second, though. We got to wait a second and just see if any appear on the corners. Ah! Come on, baby. Tell me this is working as intended. Look at that. You saw that? My corner one. My corner one just worked. We've saved the cow spawner. I knew I could do something to actually be productive on this server. Haters hated. Haters doubted me. Also, I realized I forgot to tell you guys. If you've been wondering why this guy has been standing here the whole time, um, I, I don't know if he's a real player or not. I don't think he's someone on our team. But long story short, as long as you have a player here, that's what triggers the cows to actually spawn. You need to be in the same, like, grid as them. You see these grids? Yeah, I think you gotta be in the same, like, spawning grid, and then that triggers them to actually up here. All right, there's one last thing left for us to do. Okay, what the hell? I'm supposed to have loot slash claim? Okay, I see how it is. Admins apparently gave everyone a free loot box, but not old Muselk apparently. Apparently they don't want me to open loot boxes. Apparently they don't want me to have more epic things to store in my vault. Well, that's okay because I don't need admins because I might not have loot boxes, but I do have... Oh, I, I forgot how to open my own vault. I have an epic underground base. And no one else has one of these, do they? So suck on that, admins. I don't need you. Because I've got this place instead. I mean, I don't have anything valuable to put in my box yet. But just you guys wait. A few more episodes. That entire wall is going to be made of diamond. That entire chest is going to be filled with diamond armor. I'm going to be the most happening, hip hoppity player in this entire server. Guys, if you want to check out Cosmic Sky, go download the client. Go join the server. And most importantly, go join Team Blue. Because right now, if we check the war, we are... Oh, we make a comeback, boys. Look at this. Look at that. Team Team Blue is only slightly behind. I don't know how to check the ratio here, but we're catching up. Join Team Blue. People are finally seeing the light. They're seeing that we're the coolest people out there. We got the most epic things in the game. But right now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you, legends, in the next one. Bye-bye.